Ladies and gentlemen, once again welcome back to our channel and the topic for today's presentation is Kobo copy statement. But before I start with today's presentation, I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel. And I would like to say a big thank you to each one of you who have already subscribed to our channel. Okay, so today's presentation is divided into three different sections. First one is introduction to copy statement. Then you have copy statement syntax detail. And the last one is copy statement examples. And I'm sure after completing this presentation, you would have a better understanding of COBOL copy statement and its use in your COBOL program. So let's begin our today's presentation with introduction. COBOL copy statement is a library statement and it is used to include pre-written code into your COBOL program during the compilation process. Thus, unlike all other copy statements which get executed during the runtime, the COBOL copy statement get executed during the compile time. And most of the time you get a question in your interviews that when exactly this COBOL copy statement get executed. So the answer to that particular question is that it get executed during the compile time. And last important point is that you can use copy statement anywhere in your COBOL program. But remember, you should not have nested COBOL copy statements. Now let's move on to next section that is COBOL copy statement syntax details. The copy statement is fairly simple and you can easily understand the various parameters which is used in the statement. So the syntax actually begins with copy keyword, then you have copy book name, followed by copy book library name. And in case if you do not specify the library name, then by default, it will pick up the library which is provided in the JCL with syslib TD name. The next keyword is replacing by, and this keyword is generally used to replace any specific word in your copybook before that code is included into your COBOL program. Now let's look at couple of important point before we jump to the next section that is COBOL copybook examples. Okay, so the first important point is, is that COBOL copy statement is executed during the compile time. However, most of the COBOL statements are executed during the runtime. You can use replacing by clause in case if you want to change any specific uh, word in your copybook before including that particular piece of code in, into your program. And the last important point is that COBOL copybook statement can be used any number of times in your COBOL program. And you can very well use COBOL copybook to include file layouts or any common piece of logic that can be, that can be common across uh, multiple programs. And remember, in case if you have a copybook which is already in production and you just go back and change either a piece of logic or maybe a record description, then you have to recompile all the programs which is associated with that particular copybook. Right, so now let's move on to the next section which is actually COBOL copybook uh, examples so that we can have a better understanding and, uh, and how you can use these particular statement in your COBOL program. So in this example, I'm using two copybooks. First one is EMP rec, which is actually a file layout that includes three fields. First one is employee name, employee address, and employee phone number. And the second copybook is CPY cell. So this is actually a common logic which is used to calculate the total salary of an employee, right? So now let's see how exactly we can use these two copybooks in our program. So first example is where I'm using EMP rec uh, to copy the entire file layout in my working storage section and I've used the second copy book to include the common piece of logic to calculate the total salary of an employee in the procedure division. So if you see the paragraph that is A000 hyphen calc hyphen sal. So in that paragraph I've used the copy statement that is copy followed by CPY cell. So this is basically a copy book name. Now let's move on to example number two, where I'm going to demonstrate how you can use replace by clause. So in this example, I'm using the same copy book that is EMP rec, which is a file layout. So what I've done is I've included this copy book in my procedure division 
in paragraph B000 hyphen initialize. So I've used a copy statement followed by a copy book name. Then I've used a replacing clause followed by the word that I want to replace while copying this particular code into my program. So my program will going to have EMPL despite of EMP, right? Which was initially there in the copy book. And similarly, I want to replace all level number five with level number 10. Right? So this is how you can use um, replacing by clause if you want to replace anything or any specific words in your copybook before that the actual piece of code is included in your uh, COBOL program. And remember, replacing by clause will not going to change anything in your copybook. Right? So the copybook will going to have EMP, but the code that will be copied into your program will going to have EMPL right so this marks an end to our today's presentation and ladies and gentlemen in case if you have any question then please do mention that in the comment section i'm going to respond back after this presentation apart from that i would request you all that please do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel last but not the least in case if you are looking for more videos then i would request you all to take out some time visit our channel you'll find a lot of videos related to COBOL, JCL, VSAM and KEX. So once again uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for your time stay safe